Hi, I'm Carolyn Carter, the Certification Tools Product Manager at Fluke Networks. And today, it's my pleasure to show you the FI3000 Fiber Inspector Ultra, which is a fiber inspector camera that will do both single fiber and MPO. It works with both mobile devices and Versive. Today, we're gonna to work with the Versive, so I'm gonna take my mobile device away. And one thing you're gonna notice about my Versive is it says Versive 2 NW. This is a non-wireless Versive. Um, that means that the wireless card is not activated. A standard Versive has the wireless card activated, so that way you can communicate with um, a wireless access point and communicate to like Linkware Live to um, synchronize your data. But in this case, um, a lot of times you are going to be in a location where wireless is not allowed, like a data center. And so you do want to make sure that you order a non-wireless version if you need um, non-wireless. Um, but again, we're going to be uh, testing today um, with the FI3000, and we're going to be testing an NPO cord here. Um, and I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to connect the camera to the Versive unit. And you want to make sure the camera is on. This one is on, and I know that because of the little blue light, but if it wasn't, I would just press the button here to turn it on. And since we're using Versive, we are gonna be communicating over USB. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect the USB cord to the Versive unit. And then on the other side, we have a USB-C cord, which is gonna plug into the camera itself. And now I am ready to test. So the, oh, did you just hear that beep? That is the connectivity beep. So um, the camera and Versive are now connected. That is a unique feature of all um, Versive products, whether you're using copper, OLTS, or OTDR. When everything is connected and you have continuity, the unit beeps and tells you that. So now we're gonna set up the Versive to do an MPO inspection. You can see the test that is currently set up is for fiber inspection, but it's a single fiber. So I need to change that to MPO. And how do we do that? We're just gonna go ahead and press change test. And I could pick one of these, or I'm just gonna go ahead and say new test. Um, the first option is module. If I click the module, you're gonna see that I have a full selection of Versive. I can do a DSX copper test, or I can do a Certifiber Pro OLTS test, Optifiber Pro OTDR, or we're gonna do the fiber inspector test. Test type is gonna be fiber inspector because I am going to be doing um, inspection. And I can, you can see by default that we have document only. What document only does is it allows you to see proof of quality. Is there an issue with those fiber or not? Because a lot of times that's what you're trying to do. You just wanna know is the um, fiber interface clean or is it dirty? But if you wanted to run um, a test against a standard, we do have different IEC standards available. Since I am gonna be testing a single mode cord, I wanna use the IEC 61300 single mode. I'm gonna use the one with a reflective limit of 26 dB. Um, the next thing I need to do is say what type of end face I'm using. Am I testing a single fiber, which is what I am currently set up for, or am I testing MPO? I'm gonna be testing MPO, so I'm gonna click here, and I can see all the different selections of end type that I have. Single fiber, one fiber, or MPO, I support anything from eight fibers or a 1.8 all the way through to a two by 16 or 32 fiber. This um, MPO cord happens to be a one by 12. So I'm gonna go back up here and look at what my selections are for one by 12. And I can see I have the selection of doing all 12, the middle 10, the middle eight, or the outer eight, where I'll have four on, four that are not used, and again, four on. In this case, I want to um, test all 12, so I'm gonna choose this one, the one by 12 with 12 fibers selected. Save done. Notice that I've, um, since I have now chosen MPO, a new options come up, and that is key position. So I need to be able to tell the Versive um, where the key is on my adapter. So to test an MPO, I'm actually going to choose the correct different adapter. This is for a um, M12 or a 1x12 APC because I'm testing the, uh, a single mode cord. I'm gonna go ahead and put my adapter on. And when I do that, you're gonna notice that it is keyed. Um, in this case, my key is on the left. Um, and so I'm gonna make sure I say key left. If it was on the right, I would say key right. 
But since my adapter is on the left, I'm going to say key left. And this tells Versive where fiber 1 is versus fiber 12 on my array. So I'm going to go ahead and say done. And now I'm set up. Everything is set up. It's a fiber inspection test using a single mode limit, a 1 by 12 fiber that is key left. I'm going to go ahead and save and now say use that selected test. The next thing I'd want to do is check my cable ID. Um, this one is an MPO fiber, so I can go ahead and use it. If I wanted to change, I could change cable IDs to a different one. But I like the way this one is set up. It says MPO fiber 02 through 99. The other thing I can do is I can change from N1 to N2. Let's go ahead and select N1. So I like the way this is set up, so I'm going to go ahead and press done. And now I'm ready to test. So now I'm going to take this and connect my single fiber. And to do that, I will need to use an adapter. So I'm going to go ahead and unselect it and click on. You hear the click. And connect it to my Versive. OK, now I'm going to say Select Test. And it's going to go ahead. And it's giving me something called Live View. There's two cameras in the FI3000 that are wide angle um, images. And so you can see here that I'm seeing the whole end face, but it's out of focus. So I can focus using the autofocus on Versive or the AF autofocus um, button on the back of the camera. It's going to focus in and show me the whole in face. And so you can see I'm seeing from the both pins all across this image. And I can prove to you that it is actually live view by moving the um, fiber itself. And you can see it's moving in real time. That's a unique feature of the FI3000. No other camera can do this live view and have the ability to zoom in and out. So I can zoom in and look at this whole end face. And I can see, yuck, there's some debris on here that I wouldn't really be too happy with. I'd want to clean it because that debris could easily move onto my fiber. Um, there's also something there that is kind of nasty looking. But the thing that is really concerning to me is it looks like there is a big piece of debris on this fiber. Honestly, if this was me, I would get out my trusty cleaner and I would clean it. But to show you this for this demo, I'm not going to go ahead and clean it. I'm going to now press Analyze to show you how the pass-fail um, imaging works. So I went out there, I autofocused the camera again, I'm now testing, and now it's going to start transferring the results once the test is done from the camera to the Versive unit, and it's going to give me a summary screen. Instantaneously, I can see that this fiber is dirty, um, and I can see that it's failed the limit because I have this nice red limit um, failure up above. As you can see, there are 11 good and one bad in this trunk, and there is that fiber there that is bad. If I press this uh, on this connector, it's going to drill in, and it's going to give me a live view type um, image, but it's going to be using pass fail. Now you also notice down here I have a little box, because I have all the images here, 1 through 12, which ones are passing or which ones are failing. But as I move around, I can easily see where I am on the MPO, which is really nice especially if I was using a 2x12 or a 2x16 MPO. The other thing it does is it labels each fiber for you and it puts a ring. Green ring for pass, um, red for fail. So I can see that fibers 1 through 4 are good. Overall the trunk is failing because of this fiber. So let's go find that fiber. So I'm going to move over and there it is. And ugh, I can even see right now there's some big piece of debris. But if I wanted to go in and actually see that end face, no problem. I could just click on it and it drills into that end face. And you can see there is that big piece of debris that is causing me problems. And I can see from the red of where it's failing. I also can switch back and forth from one MPO to the other from this screen to see a high resolution image on each case. The other thing is this is an image of the display. Sometimes I want to see mathematically how it fails. So if I press defects, it takes me to another zone where I can see the two zones um, from an MPO A and B, which is also looking at limits for scratches and defects. And in this case, I am failing on the defect area of zone B because I have two particles that are greater than 10 microns large, which is against the standards. That's why this is failing. So sometimes you want to see the mathematical details. Other times you want to see the image. No problem, it is up to you. The other really nice thing about being on Versive is I can control these overlays. 
So you see there's this button down here called overlay. If I press it, it lets me turn off all my different overlays, pass fail highlights, rings, and scale. And doing that lets me see a high resolution image of the in-face itself, which is kind of fun and kind of interesting sometimes for troubleshooting. But in this case, this defect is so big, or this piece of dirt is so big, I don't really need to do that. But it's nice having the ability to turn the labels on or off. I'm gonna go back to labels and let's, uh, let's turn on just the rings and the scale. Um, and again, I have different ways. So you can play around with this and look at it the way you want. I also have the ability to say fix later. We're gonna go ahead and do that. It gives me the ability to save my image. Again, I can choose whichever cable ID I want. Um, in this case, it's set up for 02. Maybe this really was fiber five. No problem, just um, selects fiber five. And it's not in one, it's in two. So I can quickly go and say, no, nope, it's fiber five and it's in two and say save. And that image is now saved. Makes it very nice. If I want to test again, I can just press test. Or in this case, I now know that this fiber is dirty. I need to clean it and go on. So what that is, is this is showing how to use the FI 3000 um, for testing MPO. It also will test a single fiber with some optional single fiber tips, but it is part of the Versif solution for you. So it will do both, the Versa platform will test both uh, fiber inspection, as I showed with the FI3000, copper with the DSX cable analyzer, OLTS with CertiFiber Pro, OTDR with OptiFiber Pro. It is the only certification product out there that will give you the flexibility of whatever type of test you want with the same UI, so now your technicians don't have to learn multiple different products. Everything is on Versa that you need. And with that, Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy using your FI3000 and have fun doing your fiber inspection. Have a great day.